Nice trip to secure the takedown. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Dustin Poole. All right, let's get to round two. Big kick land. Right punches there. Double leg is good. Oh, nice combination of elbows, and as a lot of fighters will say, there's no pad on the elbow. There's no pad on the elbow, and it cuts people. The more you elbow, the more you're gonna see guys get cut. That's why everybody that fights Tony Ferguson just are dripping blood at the end of the fight. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Good work here to the body with the ground and pound by Dustin Poirier. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. That was lightning fast, that right in. Back to the feet now. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Poirier. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Poirier, ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Poirier, ground and pound from half guard now. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Poirier gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Way to hide that leg kick. Just misses there with the left. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big double leg left change.
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Poirier. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Nice kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly puts him out. Can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155. I can't believe he's to fight that feather. Nice entry into the finish direct. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Good, solid strike on the ground. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple... Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Not the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, big knee there. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Poirier gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Stuffs that takedown attempt oh, without issue. Oh, man, he got that oh. That is some serious power to pick up another man and promptly put him in his place. Big opportunity now for him here on the ground. Sound strike on the ground. 20 seconds left. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beat. Now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Are you ready? You ready? Fight! Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, and the ankle pick to get us down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Oh, oh yeah. Great action to get to that kickdown. Elbow lands there, nice job by Poirier. Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kaburas. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Gets right back up. I mean, what is it? All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Tags him with a flush left. Poirier going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom.
He missed with that jab attempt there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, close to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Fourier's strike attempt there is blocked. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jabs, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Hey, stop! Take a deep breath. Beautiful round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Takedown defense holds up. Rotates the lock and throws it way through the air. What a massive takedown. Back to his feet. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good stick. Great timing on that beautiful takedown. He lands with the left. This might be this might the be biggest be. shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big Ooh. knee. Big knee. Good one. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle car. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Poirier's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. How about that shin? Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stack. Guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, and that's gonna do it. And that'll do it. He got him. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So they'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched gloves. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Here we go inside the octagon for the official.